How's it going, everybody? Welcome back for episode 13 of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, where there's a lot we have to do still, starting with us working towards getting to the sky. However, as part of getting to the sky, and by that I mean I just want cool new moves, we're gonna go to the Kakariko Village Graveyard. Because, Wolf Boy. Whoa! It, it's a monster! Everybody run! Okay, well hold up. Let me shift back into a person. That way he won't freak out. We'll head up to the graveyard here. Oh, wise wolf. Teach me your ways. I want to be strong like you. Make me strong, boy, please. Hello, friend. Fancy meeting you here. We meet again. There are but a few hidden skills left for me to teach you. I have warned you of this before, but if you fail to execute the hidden skill I am about to teach you, your life may be forfeit. Do you still wish to master this skill? I do. Very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure you have mastered the last secret I taught you. The mortal draw. Now then, come at me. Yeah! Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My sixth hidden skill is the jump strike. Let it be hewn into your mind. One of the basic sword techniques is the jump attack. It inflicts great damage, but none would call it effective against multiple foes. To perform the jump strike, prepare a jump attack, but focus power in your blade. The surge the blade releases can strike all enemies around you. This is the jump strike. Lock on with ZL, then press and hold A. Wait for the right time to release your strength. Alright, let's do it. Backflip. Press and hold. Ah! Hmm, impressive. Do not forget the timing for releasing the power you just felt. The sixth hidden skill to jump strike has been passed on. Alright, fantastic. I like that too. There's but one hidden skill left for me to pass on to you. You are already endowed with the strength re required of the hero. Do you not already feel the courage granted by this strength as it guides you step by step toward your true enemy? Believe in your strength. Continue to push forward unflinchingly and without straying from your path. May we meet again. Alright, cool. Now, I think... It should be about time for us to try to help Leah regain her memory. I'm not sure on that, but it it feels like it would be weird to be after we get the last mirror piece. Oh, Leah. Oh, hello, sir. What are you doing in here? Who are you, little human? The young lady's acquaintance? I guess you could say that. Darbus happened to hear that an acquaintance of, a, of one of our brothers had lost her memory and was in some trouble. Me? I came down here because I have a little something to discuss with the shaman. Uh. Um, Link? Did you hear what the shaman said? Oh. Ah, I've been waiting for you, Link. Fortune has smiled upon us. If things go well, we should be able to help Leah recover her memory. Do you know Telma's friend, Shad? Well, it seems he's researching the heavens, and he's come here to see the statue in the basement of the sanctuary. And as I have learned, when Leah was saved, she overheard someone talking about the Rod of the Heavens or something like that. The Goron Elder believes that to help her regain her lost memories, we must piece together the fragments of her past. Which means, if we work our way backward from the very place where she lost her memory, 
We may find something that will restore it. Now we must retrace Leah's path. I am certain it was Telma who cared for her before she arrived in this village, was it not? It would be best to speak with her first. Please, take this to Telma. You got Renato's letter. It carefully details how to treat Leah to get her memory back. It shames me to say it, but to be honest, I cannot abide Telma's company. We have a fighting chance, Link. Did I read that wrong? The I cannot abide Telma's company? Because, like... Those sentences didn't seem to fit together well. Oh my, color me surprised if it isn't Link. What a coincidence meeting you in a place like this. How very odd. Oh, hello there. I came here today to look into the Hyrulean legend of the sky beings called the Uka. But, to think that you would appear here with such perfect timing, you really are a rather extraordinary fellow, aren't you? I found it at long last. Observe this statue. It's the same as the one in the manuscripts my dear father left me. There are many similar statues around Hyrule, but this one seems to be different. Here, look at the belly. There's something written here, you see? This, too, was in my father's notes. It is called Skyriding, I believe. Awaken us with the word that breaks the seal. Yes, indeed, that is what it says. Wait a moment. Isn't that Leah a friend of yours? It's simply tragic how she lost her memory. And that rod of the heavens she mentioned, I'm sure has something to do with the word that breaks the seal. Hmm, isn't there any way to restore her memory? I'm certain it would help us figure this all out. Alright, so yes, we do have to help her restore her memory. That was correct. Boy, let me climb out of here. Alright, so it seems like we need to go talk to Telma. So let's just take his letter and we'll put it on a button. And now that we're outside, we will warp to Telma's bar. Which would be cool if I could actually just warp straight to Telma's bar and not outside of Castletown. That'd be nifty. I certainly would not argue. Now, am I going to have to turn back into a person, or is Postman going to fix that for me? Every time. Mr. Link, wait! Hello, Mr. Postman. You know, I see you more than anyone else in this entire town, entire land. Greetings, Mr. Link. I've come to deliver a letter. It's a letter from Renato. Didn't I just see him? Like, just have a conversation with him? Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail! Is this telling me to go see him? Is that what this is? About Leah's memory. Link, there's something about Leah's memory that I wish to tell you. I know you're busy, but please come visit me in my sanctuary in Kakariko Village. Okay, so I just jumped the gun is what happened. I understand, it's fine. Oh, tell ma. Damn it, I don't want to talk to you. Hey kid, you look cool. Hey, don't you look good? Are you looking for something? I know, so you saw the new attraction on the Western Thoroughfare, right? No. Leave me be. Nope, not this one. Next one. But up, up, but up, ow. Ow. Telma, you're the most requested person in this city, basically. Everyone wants a piece. Hi, Telma. How's that Leah doing, honey? I'm sure the shaman will find a way to get her memory back. Blah, 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 blah. Skip through. Face and Kekariko. French chat. Detailed directions. Hey, look at this. Read this. Learn this. Oh, well, if it isn't from Renato the shaman. All this writing and he doesn't bother to mention a thing about little old me. Honey, that is what I call rude. Well, there's no accounting for the foolishness of a man. And at least I understand Leah's situation now. Of course I can lend a hand for that adorable little girl. Hmm, what else do I know? The first one to bring Leah to this shop was that doctor. Maybe he knows something, but but he's a crusty old bat, that's for sure. Ah, uh, I've got it. Honey, you go ahead and take this to him. This magic little paper will get that codger talking. You got the invoice. This, this invoice is for the town doctor's running tab, which is an astronomical sum. Okay, yeah. 
It sure would be nice if she started remembering things soon, eh, Link? Okay, so we're gonna go blackmail the doctor into telling us what he knows, because otherwise we're gonna collect. So if he doesn't tell us what he knows, he'll be fixing his own kneecaps. Uh, he is... Is it this one? No, I think it's not... I don't think it's this one. I think it's at the end of this one on the main street, right? Excuse me, folks. Yeah, he's up here. Okay. Hello, Doctor. Sounds like you need protection. Do you have protection money? Eh, what's that? Just as I wondered who it might be, I see it's the admirable young lad who is willing to help the Zora boy for nary a single rupee. Just what is it you want, lad? A physical? You've some money, don't you? By the way, that girl Leah didn't mention anything about me, did she? No, but I have this for you. Hey, you wanna you wanna take a little look see do? Yeah look, I can't pay this off right now. I can see Telma's hired you as some sort of heavy to strong arm me, but she'll have to wait. Look, lad, if I'd been able to sell the wooden statue the young lady had, I would have been able to get you the money. But see, I accidentally spilled medicine all over that little carving, which made it stink awfully. I put it outside to dry, but then, well, it was stolen. Who goes around stealing people's stuff like that? What a world! You always have to be on guard, eh? Ah, uh, look, Mr. Heavy. At any rate, neither the money nor the carving is here, so I can't repay you. Now, to work, to work! Uh, well, hold up. Let me just shift. Any smells? Any smells? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, but there's like goo back here. Ah, oh, ha ha ha, I see. There is a smell. Give me this. Forget the reek fish scent and learn a new smell? Yes. You learned the medicine scent. I could do this, but I really want to go scare him first. Hold up. What happens if I go scare the shit out of him? Excuse me, mister. You're a persistent little bug, eh? I said I have neither the money nor the wooden statue, you great lout. I can't return what what I don't have. Uh, I can't get rid of that medicine, medicine stench. I don't have any money. When it rains misfortune, it pours. Remember that, lad. Look at me. Look at me. Damn it. That's no fun. I was trying to scare his socks off. Alright, I guess let's follow the scent. Hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, that kind of tracks that everyone's going to run away from the wolf, huh? Alright, so. This should go back to... What? Past Telma's bar and then to somewhere else? Oh wait, no, it stops at Louise. You're looking for the wooden statue that Leah had, aren't you, dear? Think it's a coincidence that I happen to know it got stolen from the doctor's place? No? Yes, I'll admit it. I took it. But then I was attacked by some sort of skeletal dog beast who took it from me. I don't know why those beasts were after her statue. I thought it was likely that she was in a dangerous spot, though. Those fiends lurk just outside the southern gate. Unfortunately, they only come out at night. And another thing. They always move around as a pack. You won't get that statue back unless you give all of them a thrashing. That statue sounds like a key to getting Leah's memory back. You must get it back. Okay, so I gotta go out the south gate at nighttime. And then I gotta fight skeletal beasts? Some skeletal beasts will catch some fuck. Don't you worry. Hello, sirs. Where are you at? Where be? Oh, right here. Oh, there's so many. What the hell? And they like to dig, too. I don't like that. Hmm. 
Come here, guys. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a crazy looking statue. You got the wooden statue. This oddly shaped statue is said to have once belonged to Leah. It might have it might be a clue that will help Leah get her memory back. Set it to blah 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 blah. Alright, so now we warp back to Kakariko. I assume. All right, let me just turn into a person before people start screaming. Epona's been just sitting in that corner for so long. I feel bad. It's almost like she's in timeout. All right, so now let's set this to here. Leah, do you recognize this? I will take that as a yes. What is this? I... I remember something. I was confined somewhere. Yes, and I was saved by whoever was confined with me. And when that person set me free, they gave me the statue. Yes, yes, I remember that much. But that means that person is still in trouble. Oh, what is wrong with me? I can't remember where that place was. I remember. I thought I'd seen that before somewhere. That belonged to the tribe that protected the Hylian royal family long ago. They worked in secret, so they lived in a lonely, forgotten place. But I heard that tribe dwindled in the prolonged wars. If you want to find that hidden village, look for a path leading to the Lanayru province on the far side of the Bridge of Elden. But a rock slide blocked the way to that village long ago, so you can't get there anymore. What? Oh, I do not mean to worry you, little human. Problems like these are not problems to Gorons. Okay. Our Patriarch, Darvis, will be waiting for you up ahead. A look at your map to see where. I would try to find the path beyond the Bridge Delden that leads to the Lanayru province. Alright, well, let's go. Let's see, is there a warp closer there, or am I actually going to ride Epona for once? It's not this. I mean... There's really no warps there, so I guess I'm actually going to take Epona. Hello, Epona. You would like to go for a ride now? No, not that way! Now, why'd she go, ha go and have to immediately take off like that? I didn't ask for it. I didn't want it. Had to go and ruin things. Alright, let's go find Darbus and see what's going on with that. Although, can I even cross this bridge right now? I don't think I don't think this bridge is intact, is it? Uh uh about this guys. Am I gonna have to go the long way around? Hey, uh, about this, guys. I think we have a problem. I may need to go the long way around. Well, in that case... Hold up. Wait a second. Cut that out. Nope. Stop it. Put away. Dismount. I will like to warp, please. Thank you. Yes. Um, so, I need to be here, so I guess I'm going to warp to Castletown and work my way around. <laughs> and we will shift back into person, and then I will whistle for Epona, and then we'll ride all the way around from this side... Hello, Epona. I'm sorry I made you run all the way here whenever I fast-traveled, but, you know, it is what it is. I couldn't take you with me through the portal, so it had to happen.
All right, so we got a ways to go. But then once I'm over there, we will reunite with Darbus, and he will open the path for us. And we'll be good to go. We'll head to this hidden village, wherever that may be. Start learning some secrets. And then maybe we can head up to the sky loft area. I want to call it Skyloft because of Skyward Sword, but, I mean, you know, it's basically the same thing, right? Ow! Everyone leave me alone! Can I approach it from this side? Because if I can't, I'm going to be very upset. Okay, it seems like I can. But maybe I went past it as well, it looks like. Looks like that could be an option. I think I need to turn around. Wrong button. Alright, hold up. Spin it around. I passed the place. Everyone leave me alone, please. Now, here's the problem. I want to get off. Because there's a place for my little spinny disc. And I want to see where this takes me. No, let me turn. Take me away. Let's go ahead and equip bombs because this looks bombable. Reveal your secrets to me. Oh wait, you don't do this in this game, do you? I just have to turn into a wolf and dig in. That makes more sense. Let me just shift back into a person. Hey, look, those bombs I equipped, it looks like I need them anyways, so that's convenient. Hold that. I mean, I certainly won't argue. You got a piece of heart. Collect five more. Or five total. Which is very sad that that was my first one. I don't know how many more hearts I'm actually going to get before the end of the game at this rate. But the realistic answer is never enough. Oh, everyone stop it. Is it this way? Looks like it might be this way. Would I ever have noticed that without the quest marker? Probably not. Chris Redfield, is that you? There's a hidden village up ahead, little human. The elders call it a forgotten place. This scent that has been burning my nostrils. It is the scent of evil. There's one powerful creature I've seen about, but under that beast are many mil many minions who attack and plunder like a pack of hyenas. There are 30, no at most 20 of them ahead. They're probably just a small band of survivors, ragged remnants who have settled leaderless into this village. If that is all there are, little human, then you alone are more than enough for them. But you will have to defeat them all to save that girl's benefactor. Before you go, I will tell you the secret to besting them. Destroy them all before they spot you. Got it, little human? Are there Gerudo here? Is that what's going on? No. Oh. Hey, guys. Hey, uh, how's it going? I'll just snipe however many I can here. And then slow walk. Oh, well, hold up. Don't, I don't want anything to trigger here. like an old west showdown man there's a lot but I got a lot of arrows so that's all that matters baby I already killed five 
there's one way off in the distance and I want to hit him. That's not what I, what I was aiming for. Oh, I got him. Even better because I couldn't see him. Alright. And I still have to hit them all before they notice me, I think. So let's get this guy. And let's try to clip the corner of that barrel. And then we'll move slightly to the side. I see people all the way at the far end there. There. Oh, there's a man in here. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit him through this. Very disappointing. Oh, maybe I can? Hold up. I just had a bad angle? I don't know. No, I don't think so. What if I just... <laughs> no. Bad. Nobody love you. Do I see any more from here? Not really. Can't reach that. There's only seven left. Take it a little slow. Ooh, there's some in here, though. Hold up. Wait a minute. Get this man's. Are there any more in here? I don't think so. I think we're okay. Now what if I come out to the top here? We good? I think we're pretty good. Excuse you. I don't know what I'm going to do about that one. Oh, I see. He saw me? Oh, well, they can actually just... Well, that this isn't quite what I was hoping for. What? What? Thank you. I don't know if there's any on the bottom floor in here, but I don't think so. I know there's some across the way. Ow. Okay, we got... Two more, I think. Right? After he finishes dying. Hello? There we go. Problem solved. Everyone done. Now we can slide into that little door there. Oh, actually, they're coming out. Never mind. We're good. Hello, friend. Everyone's gone. The howls of the beasts, they've faded into silence. Wait, are you? The savior, it's you, the savior. Please, please forgive me for not opening the door. My name is Impas. I'm the last resident of this poor village. My name comes from the great one who built this village so long ago. This village was once the secret home of a proud tribe who served the royal family, but it fell into decline and became infested with dangerous beasts. It's become an awful place. Excuse me for asking, but is your name Link? Uh, I knew it. So then you saved that nice girl? How lovely. When she was here, she would often cheer me up by saying that you would come to help. That sweet girl. She worried about this old woman even as I helped her to escape from here. By royal order, I can't leave this place until a certain person arrives, no matter what terrible fate is visited upon it. Oh, but listen to me, blather on. I have a favor to ask. Would you help me return this to her? I think she always kept it close to her heart, but even so, she didn't hesitate to part with it in order to protect me. You got Leah's charm. Leah left this charm with the woman who saved her. This is the key to getting Leah's memory back. I believe in my heart that it's kept me safe all this time. So please... I ask that you return it to that girl. Anything for such a kind old lady. But now, is there anything in this building? Can I get in here? Knock, knock. The answer is no. Goodbye. 
There does not appear to be anything important in here. Alright, so now let's just disappear around a corner so that I can shift. And we will warp back to Kakariko. What do you mean it would scare someone? Nobody can see me here. What do you mean? Fine, let me just leave first. I'll leave the whole area. Don't worry, Midna. I won't scare anyone out here. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to go down to Kakariko again. Let me shift back into a person. And then we'll just put Leah's charm on our button here so we can go show it to her. And let her finally regain her entire memory. Probably. Maybe. Leah! Leah, darling! Look at this. Stare at it. Learn from it. I... I knew you once. Yes, this feels so familiar. The scent of hay. Long ago, when we were young, you and I... You were always there. You were always beside me. Link. What a touching moment. Their true reunion, where they both are actually in tune with the fact that they're seeing each other again. Ah. Yeah. This gift was meant for you. It was something I wanted to give you before you left on your journey. Please, Link, take it. You got the horse call. Leah made this just for Epona. Set it while outside to play Epona's favorite song and call her to you. You don't need to worry about me any longer. Whenever you return, I'll be waiting for you. Link, do you remember what I was saying about the Rod of the Heavens? Well, actually, it was about the messenger to the heavens who held the Rod. The nice woman who saved me told me about it. Apparently in this woman's village they've guarded something for the heavenly messenger for generations, so they await him. But they can't give this item away until the messenger arrives with the Rod. That's why the lady couldn't leave her village, you see. Say, Link, do you have any idea who this messenger to the heavens might be? Or even what the Rod is? You know, Leah, I just might. So I guess I should run back over there. Which makes it a shame that I didn't get a warp for there. Alright, come on, Epona. And by that I mean I definitely shouldn't have called for you yet. That was a mistake, because I need to warp closer first. What do you mean, no, no, someone will see you? I just shifted from a wolf to a human here, why can't I do the opposite? Alright, we gotta go back to Castletown, then I gotta run the whole way around again, because I have no idea where this missing bridge is. Bye. 
Shift back to a person. Call for Epona. And then we gotta go. Ride, Epona. Ride like the wind. Let's go talk to this sweet little old lady again, but I assume I'm gonna need to have the rod, so let's just equip that. Look at all the stray animals here. There's so many. Hi guys, how's it going? Why are there so many animals here? It's very kind of you to take care of all of the strays. Hey, that rod! Is that the Dominion Rod? Ah, uh, could it really be? Are you the messenger to the heavens? Among the legends of my clan, there is a story of, from the time when the Uka still maintained contact with the royal family. Yes, it is said that a mysterious rod was handed down from the people of the sky, and it was called the Dominion Rod. The rod was only to be carried by the messenger to the heavens when the royal family needed to communicate with the Uka. From generation to generation, my ancestors have guarded the book that, by royal decree, was to be given to the messenger to the heavens. This is that book. Please take it. You got the Ancient Sky Book, a book written in the Ancient Sky language. A crucial word in it is missing some characters. This is a hint to finding a path to the sky, set blah 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 to check it. This book is written in the Ancient Language of the Sky Riding. I'm so glad I stayed in this village. If I had not met that young girl, what would have become of me? Meeting that girl must have been ordained by the gods so that I could be here today to pass on this knowledge. Have a good day. Take care of all the stray cats for me. It feels like the, like the same kind of vibe as in Wind Waker when you go back to Outset to visit your grandma. Impa's just gives off that feeling. Alright, now it said something about checking the book, so I want to try to check it. No effect. Well, in that case, I guess I'm going back to Kakariko, probably. To that statue in the basement. I mean, we are looking for a magic word, after all, so... I assume we go down there, we show it the book, which is equivalent to saying the word. And from there, whatever happens, happens, I guess. So we'll just... Bleh. Hello, sir. You and I have some talking to do. You want to look at this for me? What's this? Ah, oh, it's sky riding. Where in the blazes did you get this? You don't suppose this could be the word that breaks the seal? R right. Let's try it out. That didn't sound like a word, that was more like a culty type chant. No reaction. So it is not this statue. Ugh. Link, thanks ever so. You've brought me one step closer to solving this puzzle. I shall give the book back to you. Now I shall try out this word on other statues. I've made the rounds of these statues so many times that I've memorized their locations. I will place marks on your maps so you can find them. Come find me in case you have any questions. Remember, every one of those marks is near an owl statue. Now, if you'll excuse me. Power has returned to the Dominion Rod. When imbued with life, the statues move in the same way as their master. The writing in the book was a spell that imbued the staff with magic. Now you can do, do to the other statues what you did before. So, he did say he would mark your map wherever there was a statue, didn't he? Then we should go check out those spots, right, Link? Well, like, what about this one? There's- I see things back there, I think. Can I not- is this not a thing? But I want this one. Well, fine. Never mind, then. 
me just play. Get me out of here. Climb out of the pit. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at the map and see. It looks like there's one on the far side of this bridge, because of course there is. Looks like there's one here. Um, there's a couple next to the bridge from Lake Hylia. Are there any down at Orden? No. Are there any in the Farron Woods? There is one in the Farron Woods. Okay. Maybe we do Farron Woods first and we work our way up. We do south and we run to that one. All right, away we go. Run, little wolf boy. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Please stop. I did not wish to howl. You know what's weird? There's almost no music going on in the background right now. It's all ambient noise instead, which seems strange. No, no one will see me. It's fine. See? Those three steps did not make a difference. We were fine. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm just gonna do bomb arrows, because they blow up instantly. And I like that better. And money, because of course money. So now, we want to Dominion Rod the statue here. We bring it over into this little hole. And we leave him there. We turn into a wolf. Midna should help us with the hops. And I think there's just a chest over here. You got a piece of heart. Three more for another full heart container. You know what? I am okay with that. Allow... wait. There's still a flag here. Uh... Hold up. Before I leave... Oh, well, never mind. I guess I could've just run through. I don't know what this little thing here is. Can I show this thing the book again or something, maybe? No effect. Maybe they just don't disappear, that's just they stay marked. Oh, I was wrong. You found one sky character. The missing part of the word in the ancient sky book has been restored, but there's still other missing characters. Okay. So now we'll warp again, and that one should be gone, right? Yes, it is. Perfect. Uh, Lanayru Province, there's two. Desert Province, there's one. Peak Province, there's not one, which is good. We have... And it looks like that's basically it. So let's do this one here first. Next to Kakariko Gorge. <laughs> let's see. It's up here on the left, it looks like. So we'll ride up here. I guess we're running, not really riding, but, you know, same thing. Hello, jellies. I can't... Oh, I see what I have to do here. Okay, hold up. Uh, let's just transform into a human. Come down here. Grab this boyo. 
we check this. You found one Sky character, but there are still other missing characters. Let's just set this guy here. Because I want to try to get to this chest if I'm out and about already, you know? That felt like I should have been on that, I'm not gonna lie. Now, out of curiosity, I can't. That's just disappointing. There we go. Okay. Piece of heart, please. Maybe? Gross. I hate your stamps. Warp. Now, if only Lanayru Bridge was here, that'd make my life a whole lot easier and cooler. But, uh, about that. So, you know what? We're not going to go that way yet. Instead, we're going to go to Lanayru Province first and I'm gonna actually I don't have a good warp at the desert so I'm gonna throw myself to the desert first and then we'll come back to Lanayru province make me a person please thank you Now listen, Fire, I need one Desert Oasis flight. On the double. I don't know how expensive you make them, but don't you rob me blind. So buddy, how was it? A flight of fantastication to a hidden oasis. Keep flying with Fire, right buddy? So wanna give it a shot, fella? No hidden fees for any flight, just 10 rupees if you aren't interested, plus press B. Oasis flight. Take me away. Now, as much as I like the song, the novelty of it is kind of worn off, so... Oh, I've got a, a pig waiting for me. I don't know if I could whistle for Epona here or not, so that's convenient. Hello, sir. Thank you. I appreciate the ride. Just try to speed across the desert as fast as we can here. Not that they dash for very long, but, you know, I'll take it. Ooh, whoa, 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 hold up. Now you just wait just a darn minute. I can't get back on him. Come here. Stop that. Cut it out. Now, hey, Mr. Boar. I have a new problem. I know I was going somewhere else, but, uh... Here first, please. Thank you. What is this? Would it be... If it's anything other than a piece of heart, I am sad, boy. You know what? 100 rupees is okay, I guess. Can I whistle free Pona here? I feel like it's worth a shot, right? Mm, yeah, that's about what I figured. Alright, hold up. Let me hop on. Let's go. Away! It's so hard to control! Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and dismount. And we're going to try to figure this out. What do I got to do here? Yeah, I didn't figure I was going to make that. You know what? That's not what I wanted. 
We're gonna wiggle this guy down. He's gonna go right there. Nope, I can't grab him. Hold up. Change of plans. Pull him as far this way as possible, then get off. Let's try this again. Okay, perfect. You found one Sky character. Alright, we've still got like at least three or four more, but we're getting there, making progress. Now, while I'm up here, can I just... This one seems like it's going to be a bit of a pain, I won't lie. I gotta like move forward a little bit and then let go and then move forward some and then let go and repeat the process until he's where I want him which seems annoying uh that might be far enough right okay oh don't do that no bad boy So let's come back here now. We'll hook him. Run this way. Run this way. As far in as I can get him. We quit. Yeah, that's as good as it gets, I guess. Let's line her up. Alright, perfect. What's in the chest? Son of Beach. Take me away, Midna. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. Alright, these look like they're on the upper layer, so I'll probably go to Castletown and work my way down. And then we whistle for Epona. Which for some reason is unskippable, but whatever. And then we've got the far path, but we want to take this close one first. Because there's one like right down here. Then we'll go ahead and dismount. Excuse me, gentlemen. This doesn't seem like somewhere you should be. Now I'm curious about something. Come here, my guy. No! I, I just slashed him instead of doing the flip. I was gonna try to <laughs> helm splitter up on top of that. Now we're just gonna bring this guy to right here for a second. Possibly. And we'll see if I can make this work. Ooh, that was, uh... Maybe if it was a little closer. Let's try that. Don't fall. Don't do that. Falling is bad. Okay. There we go. One more Sky character down. Only two to go. You found one Sky character. Alright, now we're just gonna drop down. We're gonna catch this guy. We're gonna bring him over to the other side here. Maybe it depends on where he can actually fit through. Now I need to do something similar over here. We're going to put that away. Reattach. I was going to say, can he not fit through there? Because that seems dumb. Want him like right here, maybe. We'll see if we can get this chest now. While we're here. I think that's a little far away. I'm going to need to bring it closer. 
Right there, maybe. Okay. There we go. Perfect. I love it. More money. Sure. Why not? At least this time, I guess I don't need to warp out. I just will run up here and hop back on Epona and we'll go around. All right. Come on, Epona. Away we go. No, don't run into walls. Take me away. And you know what? I already got stopped, so... Hey. Cut that out. Hmm. I didn't expect those rupees to still be there for me blowing up those rocks forever ago. But they'll sit there a little while longer. Alright, let's see. Where's this statue at? Probably over here on the left. I know there's a chest over here. Yeah, okay. So let's hop off. Let's figure out how this is going to work here. It looks like all I need to do is Dominion Rod the Boyo. Pull him out so that he's underneath the vines. Hook shot to the vines. We'll climb to the top and make sure there's nothing up here first, perhaps. There's not. We drop. And a hop. Perfect. One more Sky character to go. I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm missing some. Which is possible. Now. To get this chest. Right. What if I put this boy out like right. Here. And then I grapple up to this. And then I try to line this up. That was too far. But that'll do a little bit, right? Let's try to line it up right here, maybe. Because it's just so hard to figure out exactly how far you're going to go off of a jump. Unless you use a move like that, where I can judge that it'll go a certain distance every time. So there I just need to go a little bit further forward. Just ever so slightly. So this time we'll go like right here. And I land on it. And then we do the hop. Perfect. Give me this. 100 rupees. You got 100 rupees. You know, it's growing on me. I don't like getting rupees over and over again, but... Man, the noise it makes when your money's going up. I love it. And now, if only it was pieces of heart instead. Alright, now we gotta go do the one that's a pain in the ass where I have to ride all the way around the entire place. Because, well, I have to ride all the way around the entire place. All right. Now, if only I had turned around and killed these beasts earlier. Can you imagine? Man, if only I had had a warp over here before. Well, that's crazy talk. Well, why'd it put me all the way over here? I didn't want it to teleport me. So now it says that it's over here somewhere. Which is a problem. Because I think... Oh wait, we've got something up there if I want to hook shot up to this random tunnel. Hold up. What is this? Easily sidetracked is my middle name. What do we got? I guess I'll grab this bug while I'm here and looking at him. Not that I will probably ever turn him in, but I mean, he can stay in my pants. You caught a phasmid. Bug fans love that golden color. 
was in here. Hello? Anybody home? Uh, no, never mind. I don't want it. Nope. I'm okay. Goodbye. I'm on a time limit here. I'm on a time crunch. I can't afford to get easily sidetracked all the time. Now, uh... What if I just... Like, I know I know, I shouldn't do this. But what if I just did this? Oh, well. About that. It seems like I chose the wrong way to go. And then we'll head up here. Then we drop off. Okay. Well, maybe there's something on the other side of the bridge instead. Or like, oh, never mind. It's just on the bridge. I see it. Hold up. You can't hide from me. Hey. Hey. I, uh, I don't have my bow yet, so give me a second here, guy. No. Now, let's see. I need to... Nope, that's not what I wanted. I hit the wrong button. Please, no. No, Epona, stop it. Alright, so let's grab this man's. Now, if I take a look here, bring him this way, I can bring him down. Is there somewhere for me to hook shot to to land on him or something? Or how am I supposed to get up there is the question. So none of this really helps me, I'm going to be honest. So can't do anything from there. Can't really do anything from there. What about out here? He can't hop up, he can't step up out that, I don't think. What about from the outside? No, nothing on the outside edge. I could land on him from a ways off, but that doesn't really help me. It doesn't help me if I'm nowhere near my target. So... Oh, I can just climb these. Okay, well, before it didn't look like I could. Never mind. I'll just climb up them. Oops. The ancient skybook is filled with its missing characters. This is a crucial clue to finding a path to the sky. Alright. Now what? Well, what are you waiting for? I don't know. Something amazing to happen, I guess. I assume I have to go back to the statue in Kakariko. Because there was, like, stuff behind it. And it, I just couldn't get to it before. So, I guess that would make sense. We head back there. Go ahead and shift back into a person. Fantastic. Alright, now let's go take a little look. Hey guys. Bye guys. Alright, he is back down here, so that that pretty much tracks that this is where I'm supposed to be then. Hello sir, how's it going? Ah, Link, did you read my letter? As it turned out, that word I learned from you didn't do anything with the statues I found. After all that, I wonder how that word was supposed to be used. Well, you see... Is this that book from last time? Hmm? Are there more letters in the, in the word than the last time I looked at this? How did you investigate the... Link, this is amazing! Amazing! Now this must be the word we need. Let's try it immediately. There it is. 
The shield is gone. Oh, it has taken on the same shape as the other statues. What can this mean? And I thought we had solved the last of the riddles. Blast, how confusing. I must apologize, Link. I need to cool off a tad before I mull the problem further. Sir, you should come back. Sir, sir. Sir, you should come back. Sir. Sir, you should come back. Sir? Blast it! This thing has confounded me thoroughly. Sir, sir. Sir, you should... Never mind. Have a good day. What do we got down here? Hello? Link? How in blazes did you move that statue? And what's this? Amazing. Spectacular. This must be the sky cannon I read about in my father's notes. I knew that my intuition was onto something when it led me here. But how can one use this to get to the city in the sky? A cannon, huh? What do you plan to do with this, Link? I would like to warp. Except that guy's still watching us. I need you to leave. Ah! Perhaps I am in your way. Well, forgive me for not realizing. I should just disappear at times like this, really. So let me know the results another time, Link. Listen, I mean, I didn't mean it that way. If you would just turn your back and it would just disappear, like, we could we could play it off. You don't... I mean, you're a little in the way, but also I feel bad. Ah, yes. Let me give you one last piece of advice. That seems to be broken, so you do well to show it to a cannon expert first, I should say. Farewell. I wonder if I put him off. I mean... You might have. Sure, we'll blame you. A cannon, huh? What do you plan to do with this, Link? I would like to warp, and I would like to warp to Lake Hylia, please. We need cannon repairs. Oh, fire, I have a job for you. I suppose I should turn into a person. Hold up. Nobody wants to talk with a wolf for some reason. Not that I understand why. Oh, oh, fire. Excuse me, sir. We need to talk. How many rupees for you to fix cannon? Hey, buddy. So, uh, is that yours? Yeah, <laughs> hey buddy, I never thought you'd get so hooked on fantastication that you'd try to build your own cannon. So you're gonna give me a give me the tour or what? Looks like you have a serious rig over there. Whoa, it's kinda retro, huh? And there's no ignition device, so you can't even use it. Listen, buddy, I suppose I might be able to fix it for you. I mean maybe. That is, if you can pay me 300 rupees in advance. What do you say? Yeah, <laughs> I knew you'd see the light, buddy. Now I'll just be a sec. Let's see, two days, three days, four days, five days. Here we go, buddy. All working as it should, I think. It may look like junk, but this thing's got some powerful innards. You're gonna be knocking on the door to the heavens. Seriously, bud. So I'm sorry for soaking for soaking you for the dough. I'll leave you alone, then. Will you just have all the fun you want, okay, buddy? 
I mean, I would have paid triple that if I could afford it. Double for sure. But also... Hi there, Mr. Monstrosity Cannon. I love you and all, but like, damn. I don't even know how I'm supposed to get in it to fire it off. Either way, I think that's a pretty good place to end off for this episode before we get shot into the sky. So, that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.